Hi, I'm Julie Hartley, registered dietitian, and today I want to talk to you about a mineral that you've probably heard of, but not know that it has incredible benefits, and that is magnesium. Magnesium has over 300 different cellular functions in the body, and it's also one of the body's main electrolytes, so it is essential to our overall health, but some of the benefits that you may not be aware of. It regulates calcium. Most people think about calcium as just the bone building mineral, but if magnesium is not present, then calcium is not able to do its job. Another one is we call magnesium the relaxation mineral. Um, it helps to relax muscles and helps relieve cramping, especially if you get a lot of cramps when you're exercising. We also call it the relaxation mineral because it also helps with stress and anxiety. If you had a really bad day, taking an Epsom salt bath, which is actually high magnesium, is a great way to relax. Um, if you struggle with fatigue and energy, we usually say magnesium is the first place we check to see if there's a deficiency. Also with B vitamins, it's one of those minerals that is absolutely essential to energy production. And overall heart health is beneficial for improving arrhythmias and is also a natural treatment for blood pressure. A lot of um, people use magnesium to ease constipation and even prevents migraines. So as you can see, there's so many different benefits to using magnesium. Unfortunately, one of the problems is that magnesium deficiency does not show up on a routine blood test. However, we know that the standard American diet, which is full of processed food, is very low in magnesium. So we really encourage getting magnesium rich foods in your diet and also supplementation as long as your doctor is approved. So let me show you a couple of foods that are really rich sources of magnesium. The first one is greens, specifically spinach and chard, an excellent way to get in your diet rich in magnesium, a lot of other um, minerals as well too. You can saute it up with some garlic and onions and have that as a salad or throw it in a sandwich any way that you can get it. Um, avocados are also an excellent source of magnesium, again, also rich in, in other healthy fats and fiber as well. Beans are a very good source, specifically black beans, very high in magnesium, as well as almonds, pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds. So you can make a trail mix, put some dark chocolate in there, a great uh, way to get magnesium in the diet. Also use this uh, for recovery. So a coconut water that has no added sugar or anything else is a great recovery drink for when you sweat or for hydration, a really rich source of magnesium and also rich source of potassium. You can add that to a smoothie or just uh, add it to your water bottle whenever you're leaving the gym. So we wanna include magnesium rich sources of food in our diet as much as possible. But it is also a great idea to supplement with magnesium as well too. The only caveat is that most of the supplements of, of magnesium are magnesium oxide. It's a very poor absorbed source of magnesium. So what I want you to look for are other sources like a citrate, a glinate, a malate. We usually say the eights for um, magnesium. It's a good thing to look for. So how you would do that is you would turn it around. You could usually, uh, the front would say some kind of magnesium complex. Um, you would turn it around and it would show you the source um, of the magnesium right here and how much is the source. So a great idea is just to get one that has several different types because each different type would do a different thing in the body. So increasing your magnesium is a great idea for your overall health. So hopefully you can get it in your food and then supplementation as long as the doctor approves. Live well.